What's up, guys? I'm Victor Cruz, and I am joined today by Justine Olderman, as well as Matt Parrott and Blake Martinez. The Giants, in my opinion, have always been at the forefront of giving back to their communities and being involved in their communities. So I'll start with Justine and giving you the first question. Talk to me about the Bronx Defenders and what that is. The Bronx Defenders is a public defender nonprofit. And what we do as an organization is we are working to radically transform the way that low income people in the Bronx are represented. And so what we did was we set out to create a new model of public defense called holistic defense. So we not only try to mitigate the harm of the system involvement and defend them wherever that takes us, but also try to address the root causes that drive people back into the legal system. That's incredible. And I know, you know, me growing up in Patterson, New Jersey, which is very similar to the South Bronx, I know a ton of not only family members, but other friends and family that could use these services and are facing much higher uh, disciplines than, than they should. So Blake, this is an incredible organization. Um, why and how did you get involved with this? And why did you choose uh, a public defender office? Yeah, I think when we first kind of got together as a team, as a group, we want to help change this thing, but we also want to be educated in all aspects of what's going on, what's what's the reason behind why these things have happened um, for so long and why they haven't been corrected. And so after we had more education on the Bronx Defenders as a whole and figured out that they do more than just one singular thing, they have all aspects um, working together to be able to not only get someone out of the legal system, but also keep them out of the legal system afterwards. Um, we knew that they were just the perfect fit for us. I wanted to point out a long list of experiences here for, for my guy, Matt Parrott, obviously being through this partnership, and I wanna just name a few. Uh, you met virtually with Robert J. Patterson Jr. through a mentorship program for black and Latinx youth from the Bronx. You've also met with the founders of the Bronx Community Foundation to learn about their mission and efforts to support the community during COVID. And lastly, you learned about recent reforms to New York state law, including the repeal of 50A, which prevented transparency by barring public access to disciplinary records of police, fire, and corrections employees. What's it been like to just have be so hands-on with this organization and, and get this experience under your belt, you know, and you're just being your first year in the league? <laughs> it's amazing. Um, you know, my mom, she's a school teacher, so definitely talking to the whole youth aspect. Um, some of the things that we were talking about, you know, she, she's currently facing right now, being a third grade school teacher teaching in the South Bronx, actually. So just, uh, um, you know, just hearing her experiences and hearing what the Bronx offenders are doing just to, you know, fight those problems. Um, it was just an amazing overall experience. And, um, you know, I'm still, still want to learn more and still want to get more involved in everything. But yeah, it was definitely great. Blake, shifting over to you, your group spoke with the lawyer of Usman Darbo in his immigration case, requesting his release from three years of ICE detention. You personally took the extra step of speaking to Usman directly and then submitted the letter on his behalf. He was released on bond last week, thanks in part to public support for his case. What was making that personal connection like with Usman and obviously seeing his release and how your efforts, you know, paid off? No, I think uh, it was incredible how grateful he was for just even one person to back him. Um, and so just to be able to be a part of that, the ability to, for him to be on bail, be able to go see his family. Um, and it was just a, an incredible moment to see that the other day um, come to kind of full circle. Justine, the Bronx Defenders recently accepted two of the New York Giants scholarship recipients from John Jay College of Criminal Justice as interns this past year. Why is it important for the Giants to provide, you know, that learning experience for their for their people? It makes sure that people who come from impacted communities that are particularly targeted by, you know, over policing and over surveillance have the ability to learn and develop the tools to be able to fight for their own communities. And so without the kind of support that the Giants you know, Fellowship Program is providing, our work would be inaccessible to a lot of people. And so the Giants Fellowship not only creates an opportunity for the participants to be able to learn from us, but we benefit from them as much as they benefit from us. Yeah, I always believe that education is the key. You can't talk about anything or you can't pretend to know something unless you're educated about it 
and then you can affect the masses. So I want to thank all of you. Justine, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Blake and Matt, continue to do your thing in the community, and good luck this weekend, and I will see you guys again soon. Thank you. Thank you.